There's a pair of deadly ATV crashes in Arkansas just over the past week. Both involved minors taking the off-road vehicles onto the streets. As Ian Russell reports, safety training requirements have gone out the window, protective gear sales are down, and many riders aren't taking time to learn about all-terrain vehicle operation. I don't think as many people are taking advantage of it like they used to. Jamie Riggs has been in the ATV game a long time. A good portion of it, 25-ish. Over the years, things have changed. Safety courses used to be something he had to talk about. It used to, we required as dealers to do the safety training. We're no longer required as dealers, so it's up to them to take a separate safety training course. But not anymore. Riggs says people don't take advantage of that like they used to. He also says he recommends all the safety gear, goggles, helmets, gloves, but he doesn't see a lot of sales on those. Not a lot of sales on the things you would think that you would sell. You would think you'd sell more helmets than you actually do. It's a good reminder, especially considering that Central Arkansas has seen two fatal crashes involving ATVs in the last week, one in Little Rock and one in Malvern. Riggs isn't the only one emphasizing safety. You can get 30, 35 dollar helmets all day long. Uh, and I think the last time I talked to a children's hospital at one point, I think the average cost of a stay because of an ATV accident was over $30,000. Jesse Boxnick is the 4-H outdoor skills instructor working for U of A, focusing on ATV safety. He's seen the same things Riggs has. People not wearing safety equipment and riding where they shouldn't be. Oh, they're actually off-road machines. They have off-road tires. Their suspension's made for off-road. Everything about them is built to be off-road and off-road only. Boxnick says one of the easiest ways to stay safe, making sure you read the labels. Most folks, uh, they may be too too young to ride some of the machines or inexperienced. Even older riders usually don't have the experience or training. They don't go through an ATV safety class and learn what these big machines are actually capable of doing. Back at Polaris, the message is simple. Know what you're doing. Stay safe. Keep it shiny side up. You know, I mean, do your homework before you go out there. In Bryant, in Russell, 5 News.